Team news for the Tigers. Hull City will be without their midfield composer, John Michael Serry, casting a tune over his midfield teammates and beyond. He misses out through an injury which is unconfirmed. Callum Elder comes in for his 100th league start for the club. Alfie Jones makes an appearance in midfield, so four at the back for the Tigers today. Completed by Greaves, Figueredo and the captain, Louis Coyle. The midfield three is Jones, Slater and Ozan Tufan. And then three up front for Hull City. Benjamin Tete and Aliar Saibanesh we expect to be the wingers. And Oscar Estepinen in the middle. And now Norwich are on their way down their right-hand channel. Ball with Kieran Dowell, who's hurt Hull City defences before on this ground. A hat-trick when he played for Nottingham Forest. Well tackled by Tete and Slater, ganging up together on the near touchline. Norwich have it back just inside the Tigers' half. And Dowell will move it across to McLean. On to Nunes. Nunes taking a couple of touches away from Alfie Jones in the centre. Tries to play a little ball through to Rashishka. Now it's with Cantwell. Puki in the penalty area. Three around him in black and amber. Puki shoots, but not a lot of vengeance in the shot and he probably would have been just hitting and hoping through that black and amber traffic without a clear sighting of goal and Ingram again down to his right hand side making a smart stop it's all going off in the first few minutes here at the MKM Stadium more of the same please not more of that though Norwich are in oh what a save by Matt Ingram Puki on the rebound and then it's flicked over Three and a half minutes gone, Norwich really testing Hull City's defensive line. It's an explosive beginning to this game. We're saying about wanting more shots to materialise in this game for an entertaining fixture, but it was a little bit too close for comfort for Hull City's defence. As Norwich are in possession again on the halfway line. Threaded through ball down the left-hand channel for Nunes up towards the byline. Jones looks to cover. Nunes playing it back to Cantwell on the edge of the area. What a chance, but not the execution of the shot Cantwell would like. He's fired it straight into the hands of Ingram, who was centred on his goal line. If Cantwell picks a corner, either top left or top right, surely Norwich would be 1-0 up. And a free kick goes Hull City's way quarter of an hour gone which is absolutely zipped by here at the MKM Stadium Greaves in possession bringing the ball up to halfway five man midfield partially for Norwich and Greaves picks out Coyle spots maybe the run of two fan Coyle moves inside himself plays it to Jones who advances forward now it's wide with Sidemanesh Coyle coming back over to the right hand side Sidemanesh holding up Coyle delivers looking for Oscar falls to Tete but over the top of the bar was expecting the net to ripple but Tete just hitting the ball awkwardly off his right boot Hull City now counter punching from Norwich City's early attacking dominance don't think he had enough time to actually bring the ball down and let it bounce before shooting he decided to take it on without any control and sadly the shot had no control as it sailed over the crossbar and into the stand behind Tufan into Syed Manesh who's in the centre temporarily and he's pushed the ball to Louis Coyle who tries to create space on the right Cantwell coming across Coyle in field towards Jones a little side foot from him back to Figueredo Hull City moving it smartly Slater edge of the area 20 yards out Syed Manesh Tufan wants to take it on and he shoots just over the crossbar it was dipping not dipping enough Slater clasps hands with Tufan and the Turkish midfielder with license to shoot whenever he desires that time just a little too strong but the craft on show from both teams is so refreshing to watch the referee just following the letter of the law it will be a drop ball which Norwich are not going to contest and Louis Coyle will stand over it and we are back underway Coyle inside his own half immediately looks to find Tete and Aarons immediately tries to have a go back but Tete tries to play it through to Oscar battling away in the penalty area Aarons under pressure his clearance is poor and Oscar scores his first goal for Hull City calamity for Norwich is Hull City's ecstasy and the Tigers take the lead with two and a half minutes before half time Hull City 1 Norwich City 0 
straight away from the drop ball. Louis Coyle had the presence of mind to spot Tete unmarked. A little bit of build-up play between the two. It looked like Norwich had it back. And then it was a poor clearance off the back of his own defender for Norwich City. Oscar was perfectly placed on the turn. Didn't need too much power. It just needed to be placed under Tim Krull. And Hull City have endeavoured to take the lead at times in this game. Norwich will feel they should have scored in this first half. But Hull City have. And it's the new man, Oscar celebrations in front of the north stand as well talk about that breakthrough ahead of kickoff one of the new signings has it up to 30 yards out now with Aarons and Oscar putting pressure on him he's forced to play the ball back to Omar Bamadele Tete now in the middle putting pressure on as the ball is worked back to Norwich City's left side of their frame they come forward to the edge of the area Cantwell in the centre two around him in the multicoloured away kit of Norwich, Omabama Dele, they're looking for space, they're finding it Norwich, Nunes in the area, Puki with the shot, big save from Ingram, Puki went for the left hand corner of Ingram's goal, but he prized it away, it's another big save this afternoon from Matt Ingram who's been busy at that end, but has so far repelled Norwich, Coyle taking as much time as he can, throws it down the line towards Oscar. Oscar holding up as Coyle overlaps him. Coyle inside to Alfie Jones in the penalty area. Teed up for Tufan, blocked well. It will come out to Aliar Syed Manesh. Man down for Norwich. Syed Manesh tries to wriggle around the flattened Cantwell, who's now back on his feet. Hull City have it again, but Hull City now counter-pressing, pressing whenever they can to win the ball back immediately after losing it. Ingram sends the ball soaring up towards Benjamin Tete. Chests it down very calmly indeed. And a step on his right foot unleashes him to take a shot on from range. And it's blocked behind for a corner kick. Take a moment, those listening, to the reception Hull City are getting every time they come forward. Two fan to deliver. Plenty in waiting in black and amber in the box. Two fans delivery towards the front post. The glance of Tete comes out to Elder, saved. Jones off the line, but Oscar puts it in. Hull City go 2 0 up. The Colombian in the right place at the right time again. Norwich relegated last season and have the same problems on their travels they're leaking goals and Hull City are taking full advantage plenty of shots plenty of chances eventually pushed in by Oscar Jones had a chance cleared off the line but the Colombian in the right place side foots it in and he's one goal away from replicating Abel Hernandez's South American hat-trick against Burton this weekend, five years ago. You just had a feeling with all the excitement, all the motivation behind the players on the park that something good was going to happen in this second half for the Tigers and it has. Norwich City's fans away to my left hand side standing very quietly at the moment as Norwich City have a corner kick and plenty forward as in it comes towering the highest this time is Aliar Syed Manesh and the header has found Oscar very nicely indeed he just glances it to his left to find Syed Manesh who's up immediately from winning the header Syed Manesh on the left trying to hold it up but he's well tackled that was good play by Norwich City and now they come the other way Sargent a back four rigid and ready by Hull City the midfield trying to join them Elder just nibbles away at Sargent the referee had a think about it and now gives a free kick Callum Elder unhappy and standing over it is Nunes Nunes has got it over the wall oh what a free kick the South American flair and attacking presence is on show today Nunes with an absolute peach of a free kick from 25 yards over the wall and Norwich City have found the back of the net 
That is the goal they so desperately craved, and that has silenced the MKM Stadium. Not Hull City, their lead is halved. It's Hull City 2, Norwich 1. The minutes cannot tick by fast enough for him or the Hull City fans as another corner is delivered into the area. Coyle got the glances of touches, if that's even a word. And now it's out towards Hernandez. Hernandez thinking about trying to take it down the left-hand touchline. Just bamboozles Cannon, played it to Ahrens, who now goes on a big overlap into the penalty area. Ball across, oh, over the top. The net was supposed to ripple for Norwich City and Aaron Ramsey. A perfect cross. Everyone in this stadium expected the net to ripple. And Ramsey, he could have been less than two yards out. And he's managed to put it sky high over the crossbar. A huge let off for Hull City. Hernandez getting down the touchline. Coyle now sets a, uh, a leg out to try and haul down the Cuban. And it will now be worked over to Aaron's as Hull City will do anything now to stop Norwich City in their tracks. They're clipping away at the heels whenever they can. Norwich City still in possession with Nunes. Omo Bamadeli over now onto the right hand side with Ramsey. Back to Nunes, 25 yards out, chips it over. Well timed leap by Jacob Greaves. The header there falls to a Norwich man again. Nunes once more into the penalty area. Hernandez away from his man. He will pull it across. Oh, it's headed away off the line by Greaves. Cannon sends it soaring. That net has lived a very precarious life with, from 20 minutes to go onwards. And still it won't go in for Norwich in search of their equaliser. This time headed away off the line by Greaves. Nunes is over the ball again. Ingram trying to position his, his wall. Nunes over this free kick. 25 yards out again but in a more advantageous position for him. Right-footed, has to negotiate a tall wall for the Tigers. Slater is behind it as well on the ground. Nunes, right-footed, over the wall! Saved by Ingram! And the Hull City fans in the north stand cheer it as if they had scored it themselves. Is this the final roll of the dice? Towards the front post. Cleared away partially by Williams. That's it! It's only match day three, but the MKM Stadium is celebrating as if they've just won promotion. Against the team expected to be at the top come the end of the season, Hull City have laid down a huge benchmark against a Norwich City team still pieced together with plenty from their Premier League season. But Timu Puki et al have been kept quiet by this Hull City defence, which in the end repelled everything in the summer sunshine. Hull City were red hot in red hot weather and have won by two goals to one.